the progress of the boys is very important i'm sure uh, coaching a club team or a senior team is different than coaching the academy team it is very true that the management has the, all the ca- uh, capability to have and own a, a, a senior team kerala is the state in india which is crazy for football and you can say football is number one sport there it's not just about kerala blaster it's also about you know the amount of kids in kerala playing football day and night and you know so i always said uh, club like kerala blaster gokulam kerala are not enough for development of kerala football and you know uh, to talk about the development of kerala football you know and what it, what we can do or what you know clubs or the government or aff can do to uh, bring more talent from kerala i have with me coach anish who is the head coach of uh, muttur football academy uh, he has played for various club in india so of course uh, in nfl days he's played for vasco uh, goan club pune fc you know uh, mahindra united so various clubs but now he's just 42 but he's doing a job which you know we think we hope that in india we have more coaches like anish who can you know bring that next generation of talent coach thank you for uh, giving us your time please uh, you know uh, let us know that uh, what muttur football academy is trying to do in kerala right now uh, muttur football academy is doing uh, uh, just to uh, follow the uh, uh, they can follow the model the same thing uh, indian football many academies can follow uh, to give the boys uh, education and then the boys uh, training quality training quality matches then uh, having a path pathway to uh, uh, from under 13 to 15 15 to 17 then 17 to uh, uh, reserve team then uh, senior team once they are attaining their uh, experience they can move on to ISL I league uh, then there they can have their you know whatever uh um, hard work they have uh, put on training they can have a good career in the future and uh, you know uh, we are of course here in london uh, muttur football academy was third in the reliance foundation development league you know uh, and qualified for the next generation cup where they are they are going to play premier league clubs so for a young academy how this achievement you know how big is this achievement for you as a coach and for as academy also <coughs> uh, okay uh, for me uh, the, uh, the academy's result is uh, much important and uh, academy stability is much important uh, academy's uh, uh, progress is very important and the progress of the boys is very important uh, they have to attain they have to get their uh, be- best opportunity to train best opportunity to play uh, higher standard of games to to improve their g- game and career so Uh, it's very important uh, for the management also to have a good run of form in a, in, a, in a prestigious tournament like uh, Reliance Development League and uh, to play uh, in an international level uh, of uh, competition coach uh, coming back to kerala again uh, can you let us know all the people and fans who are watching this uh, what is muttur football academy setup is you know Uh, what kind of infrastructure you guys have uh, which city or which place you are based out of how many kids you have in which age group and uh, you know what's your plan right now with each age group as a as a as a academy uh, right now we are having a fully residential uh, academy which which provides uh, their uh, which provides them uh, a clean environment uh, very uh, everything is very uh, you know very clean and uh, pleasant the boys have a uh, uh, boys are, are residing in a huge infrastructure like uh, ground uh, phys- gym then uh, 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 air conditioned accommodation then uh, they are having a football field next to them they can train uh, morning evening night they can train they are having uh, coaches to support staff to support so uh, it's uh, it's an amazing facility for them to uh, train and, uh, and do where are these facilities located in malappuram in malappuram okay. which is basically the yes. one of the hotbed of football talents in kerala right yes so uh, and uh, from which age you are you are scouting the players now yeah we start uh, scouting uh, from at the age of 13 then if they are very good we start from 13 then 15 then promote to 17 then we promote to the development league side 
then we promote to kerala premier league and mostly i have seen that you know uh, i was talking to someone that the academy is focused more on developing the local keralaite players and i think which is very important because uh, that will help to build and make that strong football culture also right where there is a more local talent playing uh, so in this squad which is here in uh, london to play next gen- generation cup are these all players from kerala or how they are yeah playing? all of them are from kerala so i think that's uh, that's commendable you know that's might be the one of the uh, best football development you talk about that academy is able to you know uh, nurture a team of 20 23 players to come and play in in, in london to play against premier league uh, clubs uh, uh, coach uh, uh, as a you are a very young young coach right what is your philosophy uh, when you're coaching the academy because i'm sure uh, coaching a club team or a senior team is different than coaching the academy team i have always talk to lots of coaches in india who worked in the grassroots setup or in the youth team so what's your philosophy like right when you're uh, helping to uh, manage these young kids at uh, the academy uh, the philosophy uh, of the academy is uh, nurturing them in a you know an um, environment where they can uh, learn uh, the football basics then they can uh, learn the uh, tactical uh, discipline so first it is all all, uh, all about their basic like uh, technical thing then they, we focus on more on tactical once it comes to the competition we more focus on uh, tactical thing so uh, players are learning how to play then how to move the uh, ball how to uh, detect the opponent so which has which is very important so uh, the players need to understand player needs to uh, be more educated on their uh, 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 mental aspect of uh, maybe decision making which is the thing we are lacking more in uh, in a higher level of uh, like uh, competition against top or op- top opponent and uh, currently the uh, which are the competition muttur football academy is playing in you know throughout this calendar cycle in in a calendar cycle yeah, we play uh, academy youth league uh, uh, which conducts kerala football association then we uh, compete in uh, uh, all india football federation uh, uh, youth leagues then we compete in school tournaments then we compete in uh, reliance school tournaments then we compete in uh, uh, develop youth development league then we compete in uh, kerala premier league which is also the same boys who are having 18 19 or 17 then uh, some of the senior players who who can help them to you know so and uh, how how old is this program basically the uh, the academy program uh, it is a, it's uh, we uh, it is in the seventh year Seventh or eighth year. year, and have you guys able to put some players in the professional setup in ISL and in in I League till now? Yeah, uh, right now we have Salahuddin who moved. He he was having a good performance last year. Then we are having Vishnu who is playing for uh, East Bengal. So uh, then uh, we we have some boys uh, who have already. Uh, then Adil who is the captain of uh, uh, the sa- the same team uh, East Bengal. then uh, the the best player who, who was from uh, uh muttur bola academy uh, so hail so there are players who are coming up and here's the my question right mentally because you're coaching these 16 17 18 at that age i mean and azhar who who also came from muttur bola academy okay jo uh, he was playing for kerala blast yeah, right yeah. and uh, uh, to be very honest uh, i have heard lots of stuff about mohammad azhar right i think kerala blaster uh, the decision to sell jixen singh i think having mohammad azhar in their rank helped kerala to sell jixen to east bengal for that mm-hmm. that amount because they they believe that mohammad azhar and you know bibin and these two you know alongside another one, one domestic player can play that 6 and 8 role very comfortably mm-hmm. and i think uh, the kudus i was not aware that he he was he was with you so that's my the question is right because we are coaching this 15 16 17 8, 18 year old kids uh, and of course uh, the outside uh, 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 you know noises are there right agents approaching players or the clubs approaching players how you know you cope up with this how you make sure that your player have their you know mind on the football not on the outside stuff uh of course <coughs> it is very difficult to uh, shut the op- offers coming for the boys but the only thing i would uh, uh, recommend the boys they have to 
attain the an experience of uh, youth setup where they have to play they have to play uh, without the pressure to learn the game more which is very vast thing to learn a lot of uh, uh, game experience at youth level or uh, younger level once they attain that experience they can easily move they can easily have a good career so where they are having a little bit of performance other clubs or agents approaches then their uh, ecosystem might go down <coughs> then they again go move into a new new setup where they struggle little bit so, some of the boys they go definitely i cannot say it is right but some of the boys most of the boys they struggle with a little bit to 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 um, go through the uh, new setup and so which which really affect their um, uh, overall progress last two questions uh, one on the reliance football development league because of course you play lots of tournament how different is rfdl and then of course coming here why you know because you finished third in the rfdl to be here in yeah. london to play next generation cup uh, rfdl is a very structured league which is the uh, you know uh, change, changer in indian, indian football definitely more number of uh, highly competitive matches uh, in 19 20 21 age 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 category boys and uh, in younger younger time more number of boys train more number of boys play but once they are having a uh, path to move into the senior team there is a big gap that gap now it is filling by uh, the introduction of uh, reliance development league so more number of uh, clubs are uh, uh, ready to keep their uh, youth set up you know they are giving uh, training they are giving uh, uh, hostel facilities they are giving getting uh, stipends so which is definitely the game changer in, in indian football and it needs to be um, more matches and uh, coach so on on muttur especially right ideally in india all the big corporates they go and open the club and don't do any grassroots or academy development but muttur have put a setup now with football academy you know which not many uh, for example isl clubs have currently right so what is the plan for them are they they are already playing in kerala you know kerala premier league as i told about are you guys thinking about playing in i league 3 or i league 2 going ahead so that your boys have more a bigger pathway uh, to you know reach the professional level yes uh, uh, it is very true that the management has the all the ca- uh, capability to have and own a, a, a senior team like maybe asl or i league but right now uh, they want the progress only through the academy boys who are uh, taking the club into maybe uh, second division or uh, third division i league because it is all about their pathway if they are attaining the uh, as a third division of course co- club will uh, management will support them to play third division if they attain uh, much more uh, with their uh, talent then the club is ready to support and the last question if 10 year old kerala uh, young footballer is watching this video and he is very talented okay. how he can catch the attention of coach anish or muthuphol academy in kerala uh, we are the uh, academy always open for trials any boy is ready to come they are always welcome here and we always i think uh, on a weekly basis every friday we are having uh, trials wow, for the okay. uh, for the kids so always open for talents who can come who can stay with the team who can uh, uh, attend the trials if he is good enough we will look for him definitely the management will support him okay coach thank you very much okay. good to you know see you again and uh, hopefully you have a great Uh, okay. you know results here in london and hopefully the you you are and boys keep on progressing the you know yeah. uh, going ahead and reach isl and the national team so okay of you. course of course thank i'm you. really thankful uh, for uh, relens uh, who who are doing this uh, great opportunity for indian uh, indian teams then uh, i'm really happy with the management muthur football academy and thomas muthur who is doing a great job for us so everything is with uh, with their their support and i'm very thankful for that thank you coach